Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, Epoxy versus Treta, game three, winner goes to playoffs, loser plays a tiebreaker. Let's take a look here at the teams. Gearing, Kleber, Harugamo, Moskva, Brisbane, Salem, Salem, Vermont, and Kremlin. Not because we claim versus Treta, bringing Yu Yang, Shima, Gearing, Daring, Salem, Moskva, Brisbane, Kremlin, and Ohio. Let's see how these teams are going to spread it out here and who's going to win. This is the third game. They're tied 1-1. So, big game for both these teams, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, you don't want to have to play another series. You want to be done, know you're going on to uh, playoffs and be able to relax and not have to play a tiebreaker. Aggressive positioning here from Treta with the Darren going hard into B and a Moskva going up. Usually, the Moskva is not going to necessarily look at this island, but maybe this one or this one. So, that's aggressive positioning there from the Moskva we're going to have to watch. Uh, other than that, fairly even split B and C, heavier split to C for Epoxy, only three ships going to A and then the Salem to check the mid. Downside of the Salem is the radar is a lot smaller, so you can see the radar right here. This is the line of the radar for the Salem. And you can see it's a lot shorter, like right now, if the Des Moines was spotted, it would be able to radar that daring. Salem can't, so Salem's got to wait until something goes in the cap, and Barbato's Rex shots out onto the Salem of Wondercube. Wondercube only takes 11k. And so, as we watch in, Salem pops the radar out, but here's another downside to the Salem. Um, and big hit on Wonder Cube there. Salem's radar is going to run out of space to spot the Daring here in a split second. Daring slows down, but now Daring's going to be able to get out, and Salem can't keep him protected. Or Daring's going to stop? Nope, Daring's going to go forward again. That's a big hit onto the Salem, force out a lot of his health early on. He heals back up to 38k, but still, down almost a third of his health very early on. Lots of torps out from the Yu Yang, not going to hit anything today. Nobody in caps yet. Daring getting ready to look at it. Salem trying to spam over the island onto the Ohio. Not going to quite hit. Mega Zhao also dodges shots. 30,000 health advance for the side of Epoxy, though. A lot of that is because of the ships they brought at the beginning, considering they have a lot more damage on their cruisers than the side of Treta does. And Treta also brought the 4DD comp. Now, this is a very aggressive play here. They're sending Big Boy down the side. Very aggressive positioning here on the flank. He's going to have to watch that Salem, but he knows where the Salem is. But he's got such an upward position there. And he's running reduced concealment so he can run it. He can take that. Shima's got to be very careful. Moskva going to know that... He's going to know the edge of his radar, and with Big Boy having RPF, he knows approximately now where the Shima is. Now, 
As we look forward, Kremlin here is taking some damage. He's getting farmed by the uh, Moskva of Mega Zhao. Double Fire hasn't forced out a heal or a DCP yet. Harudmo of Walrussi. Try saying that five times fast. And I know what that's supposed to mean, but it really makes me think of Walgreens or something instead of a walrus. And everything else that's related to that name that I'm not going to say on stream. Kremlin does use the DCP. Problem is, DCP is now down. And watch all the shots in, and there's the permafire. And that feels... That's the worst feeling in the game. Harugamo going to have Salem shots coming in. Gets a hit for about 4k there. Has to start moving and watching so the Salem doesn't get him. Kremlin, though. Kremlin's heal gone. Kremlin's DCP down. And down 33,000 right now. Thirty-eight thousand now, and two caps to the side of Treta. Though they've managed to get A and B, so their points are ticking up, even though they're Kremlins in a world of hurt. Big boy makes a charge through the middle. He gets hit a little bit, but he gets dark. But he's got to be very careful. This is in a very aggressive position for a DD. And he's going to get slapped. Might have bit off more than he can chew with this positioning. He's trying to get out of there. Problem is, he's running out of place to go. Big shots in, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, Tread is going to claim big boy. That's the first kill of the game. And they take the 1-2-0 ship lead. They're now up 240 points. And you got caught by a Shima and a Daring. And when he gets caught by a Shima and a Daring, there's not much you can do. Now, Kremlin has been spotted again. So this will be a chance for the side of Epoxy to start to build up their... Uh, health advantage and use that to try to bring this game back, but losing that Kleber really hurts. Kremlin down to 67,000 again. He's already used two of his heals. He hasn't used the DCP yet, though we're gonna have to watch. Um, uh oh. Kremlin in a world of hurt here. He's gonna take one. Does he take a second? He does, and ladies and gentlemen, he is going to go down. That is a Kremlin dead. Epoxy with some brilliant cross torp against the line that the Kremlin wants to take. They get the Kremlin out of there, and that brings their points back up to 280. They're still down 230 points, though. But now their focus switches to the other battleship, and you, take ri you get rid of the high alpha damage. Puts you in a pretty good spot. And so the Ohio climbs up onto the island, and now you start to see the movement come for the side of Epoxy. The Rugmo and Salem working on 404 not found on the edge. Man, they're just getting so much damage there. Shots just missed the Salem. Salem is using the heal, but I think it's too little too late. He's going to get smoked up here. But if he takes a fire right here, that feels really bad. So far, no fire. There's the fire. And yeah, that's going to tick him down. Salem of Frosty Beverages also does have the heals left. He's going to pop the heal. And now Epoxy's starting to take back control of the map in that sense. But the problem is... They're still down 345 points.
And the Ohio down to 58,000. That Salem is just enjoying feasting on that broadside. Vermont of Wolfman has the much greater advantage here, but seriously, that, that Salem is just feasting on his broadside right now. Okay, Ohio of Barbatos Rex down to 41,000. He is getting good damage back onto Wolfman, but now with one cap taken and the other two contested, Epoxy is going to start closing that cap and fast. The side of Tretta needs to find a kill and quickly. They're looking on that Brisbane. They want to find him. Yu Yang in a world of hurt. He's got a Brisbane close range. He's going to start to shred Kovi here. Kovi going to take some good damage, but how much will the Yu Yang take in return? Gearing of Kovi down to 10,800. Yu Yang of Pador down to 11,000. Let's take a look back over here. Vermont of Wolfman still doing well health wise. The Ohio down to 26,000. Hiding in that smoke. And so as we look at this game, positioning is starting to really favor Epoxy. Gearing taking A. Brisbane still back there, alive. Vermont sitting denying B and letting that uh, deficit slowly but surely drop. And he's got the heels to be able to do this. Moskva uh, now in a prom spot. They see the daring briefly. Shots out on the daring. Daring does not take any damage. Gearing spotted. Will it be in time to stop it? No, it... Yes, it will. Gearing gets stopped just at the last second. Brisbane will also see these torps and be able to dodge them. And now this health is neck and neck. Man, this is anyone's game right now. Uh-oh, torps in on the Vermont. This is going to be close to a dead wolfman. He's going to take two. He cannot dodge them. He takes the two. He's down to 12,000. The DCP isn't running... And, ladies and gentlemen, this man is dead. And there he goes. Ohio of Barbato gets Wolfman, and that is a one-ship lead and a 400-point lead for the side of Tretta. They push the Vermont in there, but they just aren't able to capitalize by finishing a ship. Everything is at stake. The enemy's victory draws near. Salem of 404 not found down to 3400. Moskva of Mega Zao. Problem is, once again, you're running out of time if you're the side of Epoxy. Your map positioning is looking better, but you haven't taken those caps yet. And your ship health is depleting. The only plus side you have right now at A is the fact that there's only one raider left on the Brisbane. The Yu Yang has none. And you got to think the Brisbane's going to radar. Oh, and they find the Yu Yang. If they can get the Yu Yang out, this is a big win for Epoxy at A. Shots are in. Down to 5,100. Forces the DCP. Down to 4,400. And the Brisbane goes down. And the gearing gets no shots off onto the Yu Yang. And the Moskva of Mega Zhao goes down on the other side. And suddenly, it's a 600-point lead for Tretta. And there's the radar. They'll spot the gearing. It's a little late for stopping the cap, but it doesn't matter. All they care about right now is the kills. He's trying to get out of there, but he's down to 1,700. I don't know if he does.
He gets out of there, but they're gonna lose A right back. And ladies and gentlemen, now the Daring going for the absolute. They do get the Salem of Not Found, buys them a second, but it doesn't matter when the Kremlin of Moose on the Loose gets dev struck. Shredda up Only two ships to five. Time. And that is going to make this Treda's game. Salem will get in to be here. Okay, that'll buy you at this point, by the time he gets in there, that'll buy you about 50 seconds. More than you already had. Your Salem is trying to kill the Shima. But the Shima is doing a really good job of running the border. And here comes Shots. Oh, and they get the Harugamo of Walrussi. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that will all but guarantee it at this point. Treda is going to take this game. They win in 21 seconds. And Treda is going to take the top in their group and move on to playoffs while Epoxy has to go play a tiebreaker. He's trying desperately, but it doesn't matter. Even if he kills him right this second, it's still too little too late. And Treda is your winner, ladies and gentlemen.